Hey guys, it's Danielle with Danielle Gets It Done, and this is my pregnancy update for week 18. Gonna love you, honey, on and on and on. I'm a morning dog singing out a song. Okay, let's see. Baby is the size of an artichoke. That doesn't do much for me. I mean, I have nothing against artichokes. I just don't buy them enough to know what that means. Let's see. Almost six inches long. So, half of a ruler. Oh, it's so long. I am so out of breath. <laughs> I know I've talked about that the last couple of weeks. I can't handle how out of breath I am. This did not happen with James. I was on the phone with my sister the other day and she was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you out of breath? Because I'm pregnant, apparently. Um, I need to change to that app that you guys recommended. Looks like a lot of moving and grooving by baby. It's moving a lot. I have to say, I meant to talk about this last week. I I felt the baby for a really long time, which I've talked about, but for about 10 days I only felt it once or twice, which was kind of disheartening. Um, I know that's totally fine and normal, but once you feel it, it kind of sucks when it's not consistent. But definitely this week I felt the baby more and more. I wouldn't say quite every single day, but probably at least every other day I feel baby kicks at least once. Usually, you know, like most people, it's in the morning or night when I'm laying down and still. So that is so exciting. Okay, week 18. Um, not a good week. <laughs> I hate saying that, but not, not a good week. Um, like nausea wise and barfing wise, that was a wash, <laughs> like it didn't get better, it didn't get worse. Why this week was so frustrating is I was just so tired and so fatigued. Like all day, every day, really tired. I went to bed at eight o'clock probably every night. And it was just frustrating because as I've mentioned the last three weeks maybe, my energy level has felt so good. And I, I was so happy about it, so it kind of sucks to take what felt like a bunch of steps backwards in that category. What probably made it worse is my husband wasn't home. Ooh, I just burned myself on my tea. Uh, my husband wasn't home for two nights this week. I don't wanna sound like I'm complaining because <laughs> there are a lot of single moms with way more kids than I have. I have one kid. I have a really present partner. Um, usually, I don't think twice when I have to be alone with James at night, but it was just a hard week for that to happen two nights in a row because I'm just so tired. It's the kind of tired where you almost feel like crying kind of a thing. So that was hard. And then our weekend was really busy, which usually is fun, but it kind of added to my stress. My Brother-in-law was in town and stayed with us for two nights. He's so easy to have, we love having him, and it's not like we have to entertain him, but I just felt really bad because I felt like a bum. I went to bed at eight o'clock both nights and I just felt bad and antisocial, but I think he understood. Then the other thing was we had my nephew all day on Saturday, Phil was at work, so just James and me and my nephew from 12 to 6. We have been so excited. James is obsessed with my nephew and vice versa. James is 5 and Louis, my nephew, is 2. And they get along so well and so we were super excited. But because I had been so tired, I, to be honest, was really nervous and I had a lot of negative self-talk like you can't even handle your nephew for six hours what business do you have having another kid like get it together girlfriend and i have to say it went so well 
and James, my son, just like took over and entertained my nephew the whole day. Like they just played and I really didn't have to do anything. If my sister-in-law is watching, I observed your child the whole time. Like I was in the room with them, but James just really took over and they found stuff to do. We had so much fun. We went for a walk and played outside and made cookies and it was just easy and just so good considering I had been tired and really nervous about it and I have already thought that James is going to be an awesome helper as a big brother but that cemented it even more. I think he's just really going to be helpful in the newborn stage. You know I'll be able to say James can you watch your brother or sister I have to shower like I think he's really going to be helpful which I guess is the plus side of having your kids farther apart so it actually got me really excited and then after my nephew left either that night or the next day I got body aches everywhere and started to get a sore throat and then James had a fever <laughs> so I it's so weird to be like, I hope I have a bug, but I hope it's a bug because then it would explain my severe tiredness. I'd rather have that be from a bug than pregnancy because I felt like that was getting so much better. And so if it was just a bug, you know, bugs pass and maybe my energy level will spike next week again. I really hope so. <laughs> I wanted to say something positive because this was a hard week. And that is, I have been sleeping really well during this whole pregnancy. With James, I had insomnia kind of the whole time. I think I was just nervous and had a lot of anxiety. And that is not the case so far with this one. I'm sleeping really well. You know, at times it takes me a little bit to fall asleep because of my restless leg situation. But, you know, once I do fall asleep, and it really doesn't take that long to fall asleep, I'm sleeping really well and I wake up once or twice to use the bathroom because hashtag pregnancy but I again just fall right back to sleep and I'm really really thankful about that because I'm already tired and not sleeping well on top of that would just I think be really really hard so I'm really glad that that's going well so far. I will show you my bump. It's the end of the day so it's a little bigger than it was this morning. I really love this shirt. It's from like Peapod or one of those maternity stores that I usually don't like, but I got this second hand and I don't know, I really like it. It's nice and long and tight over my bump. Um, I think that is everything. I can't believe I'm almost halfway done. <sighs> I'm getting really close. So we'll see you next week for our week 19 update. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm so out of breath. <sighs> we'll see you next week for the 19 week update. I hope you all have a wonderful day and whatever your plans are, I hope you get them done. Bye guys. Ooh.